Hello, welcome to collaboration video number one. I am Zach with PC Simplest, and this guy over here is Chris with PC Addicts. And today we are going to talk about Dropbox. Dropping like it's hot, dropping like it's hot. I was going to do that. Were you? I was. Hey, you oh, see, we're so insane. Gosh, this you is... beat me to it. I don't mess around. Anyway, um, Chris is going to give us a little brief introduction on Oops. Dropbox, and uh, we'll talk about it a little bit and All right. see what you guys think. I didn't know that was going to be me, but I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> Got to throw surprises at him. Um, so what is Dropbox? Dropbox is a cloud-based storage that allows you to sync um, files, photos, uh, videos, audio files, uh, probably other stuff that I just can't think of right now. Word um, documents, Excel documents, your PowerPoints, PDFs, everything. Everything. Uh, allows you to sync them up with an online service, Dropbox, um, that... that allows you to keep in sync any devices that you have that are connected to the internet, such as your laptop, your desktop, your mobile phone, um, what other kind of devices are out there that, that can iPads. use? iPads. iPad, yeah, iPads. Your, your Android um, uh, tablets, tablets, phones. And, uh, all, all your phones, you know, I think Windows phones probably even have Dropbox. I would, I would hope by now they have it at least. So, so it allows you to basically keep all your devices in sync so you could always have access to these documents all the time. Um, another good reason that, to use Dropbox or a service like it, oh no, I don't want to say that, right? We're just no, talking about Dropbox. Another good reason to use Dropbox is um, to use it as like a secondary, secondary backup service. So, um, for example, Let's say my laptop is the only computer that I have right now that I use, and I have all my documents in there, invoices for all my side work that I do, um, documentation for troubleshooting on how to fix server stuff, blah, 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 anything. Um, let's say this is the only laptop I have. If I lose it, it gets stolen, broken, or something, and I don't have any kind of a backup on it, at least with Dropbox, I can always go to a different computer, log in with the web, interface or on my new computer, my new laptop, or even my phone, and I can access those documents. I still have them. So it's kind of a nice little secondary backup. It's a great backup solution. Uh, you know, it starts off as a free service, and I think you get like two gigs free or something like that, and if you invite people, you get more space and all that. Oh, is that true? Yeah. Uh, the more people you invite, it's like a referral type of thing. I think you get either an extra gig or two every time you refer somebody. So that's kind of a cool feature that they offer right there off the bat. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It is cool. Yeah. And then um, they, the next tier, they, they go up, it's like nine ninety nine a month, and you get a terabyte. That's one. Uh, that's 1,000 gigabytes of space for 10 bucks a month. Sounds like a lot. Yeah, I don't know anybody who could fill that up, but good luck. I'm sure I'd you have, could. I'd, have, I'd struggle with my internet connection, like yeah. keeping, you know, seeking that. Seeking that. At least you're only going to seek it that once, hopefully, though. Yeah. So, uh, speaking of syncing, though, I mean, another great thing I would say about um, Dropbox, you don't always have to have an internet connection to access your files. So, say you're on the go and you want to pull up one of your PDF documents on your phone or something, as long as you have sync your Dropbox on all of your devices and you have everything up to date and you're sure before you go out somewhere where you have no internet access, you can still open up Dropbox on your phone or on your computer or whatever if you have it synced and you can pull up those documents and that's pretty awesome because that means you don't have to rely on an internet connection to access any of your files. You just have to make sure that you sync up beforehand. So that's awesome. I mean, that's, that that's pretty cool that they, they offer that. So. I'll give you a good example. Um, I do site work for a school district, and there's a couple spots at the school district where they don't have um, wireless, right? So, But I'm over there, and I can't remember the certain passwords to get into their Barracuda firewall or whatever. And so I have to open up my Dropbox on my phone, and if I don't have an internet connection or cell phone coverage, it's still there because it's within the application still. It's still synced up. So it's kind of nice. Like I can access all my um, my password if I have passwords in there. And I do have a few of them. But Probably shouldn't have passwords yeah. in there, but yeah. yeah. YOLO, right? Ooh. All right, so we, we gave you a little bit of an introduction of Dropbox. So now we're just going to show you a little bit about Dropbox. So we'll show you from a Mac. We're going to show you from a PC. And we're also going to show you from uh, my Android phone my Galaxy Note 3, and I think Chris was talking about working on showing you a video from his iPhone. Yep. 
So we're just going to kind of show you brief examples of that so you kind of understand how it works and just get a basic visual of it. So check out our examples and we'll get back to you. So in this first part, we're going to pull up Dropbox on my Android phone. And you can see here that everything that I have on here is pretty much everything that I obviously sync to my Dropbox. I put a lot of my pictures uh, that I use for PC Simplest on there. And I like it because they're easily accessible. I mean, uh, this is a lot of stuff that I use. I can pull it up on the fly and, you know, go through them, take a look at any pictures that I have. Um, obviously, I'm just showing you basically what I use for PC Simplest. But also, you know, I have some videos on there. And, you know, you can sync all of your pictures and videos that you take from your phone into your Dropbox. So that's really convenient, you know. Obviously, we can pull up any video here. We can watch it for a minute or two. We can watch the whole entire thing from your Dropbox. It all depends on what you want to do with it. Um, some other great things about uh, Dropbox on your phone is, you know, you can pull up the PDFs, which is also pretty awesome. This is obviously an old, P old PDF I have there. But that's a really cool feature that you can pull up PDFs and other type of Word documents and stuff like that. Here you can see that, you know, you can sync up your photos. So that's always pretty cool that you can just automatically sync everything. And next you'll see where I'm going to pull up Dropbox on my Windows computer. And I'm running Windows 8 on this one. And you just see we just have an icon on the desktop for Dropbox. And again, you can see all the same pictures and everything that I had on my phone with the Dropbox, they're all synced and it's all on my desktop computer as well. And again, you can see that I can pull up, you know, whatever pictures that I want and scroll through them just like I did on my Android phone. And you can see on the computer that if you go, you, you should have a little Dropbox icon on your left there and, you know, you can access all your stuff that way or through the icon on your desktop. You can also go through manually through your computer, and I'm just kind of showing you that, you know, you're going to have a Dropbox icon or folder icon pretty much uh, in many different locations on your computer, but it's all going to be the same stuff. It's all the same. Every time you sync something, it's always going to sync uh, to your Dropbox and be there. You can also move stuff off your Dropbox and put it back on your Dropbox however you need to do it. So that's also pretty sweet. All right, so in conclusion, um, we're going to talk about how and why we use Dropbox. And I use Dropbox on like four different devices. So I use it on my Android phone, my Apple computer, my desktop, and I also run it on like my iPad. So there's four different devices. It all syncs up perfectly fine, and it's great. I can access it everywhere. So that's kind of cool that I have all these devices, and I have access to all of that data all of the time. Um, you know, the, my main reasons that I use Dropbox, though, are, again, just store office files, my Excel spreadsheets, some PowerPoints that I use, a lot of text documents that I keep random stuff in there that I need to access, not passwords, mostly IPs and stuff like that. Um, but I also, I also love to back up my photos and videos there because it's a great secondary backup, and we talked about that. It's a fantastic secondary backup solution for all of your important stuff. So, you know, that's definitely a great reason to have it. And I know Chris uses it on a bunch of different devices, so I'll let him tell you yeah. what, so, what he does. So, I, just like Zach, I use it on, well, I use it on my laptop, I use it on my iMac at home, and I use it on my iPhone here as well. Um, for a lot of the same reasons Zach uses it, I, I do the same. Um, one, I don't trust having everything on just a computer. I've worked with multiple computers many years, and it was a pain in the butt to try to copy files that I need, needed from this computer to the other, other computer. And I've been using Dropbox for many years, probably a little bit after they started you know, having the service out there. But um, my main thing is I don't trust having it on just one device. Um, also, when I'm at work, uh, if I need access to those documents, I just log into the web interface access whatever I need to access and then close out I'm done it's real, it's real nice it's so convenient to have um, it's really easy to use yes it's really very easy very easy um, another thing that Zach mentioned too every time I take a photo I have it I have the phone configured so when I launch Dropbox here 
it'll take all my photos because I don't use photo stream I don't I don't like that I just I'm not a fan of the photo stream service or whatever but I use um, whenever I launch Dropbox it'll pull any photos that I've taken from my phone and videos it'll pull those right into my Dropbox account and I'll have them available here on my laptop as soon as I open it up well, and it syncs and as well as my iMac at home they don't even do anything it no just, it syncs it syncs it's awesome very clean nice service um, and the last thing I use it for is so I do photography on the side, and when I take a bunch of photos at an event, some people will purchase like packages, like a USB drive package. If I try to get them to, um, instead of having a USB drive, I will just send them a zipped up file and a link to it from my Dropbox account. So let's say I take 30 photos of some someone or someone's dog or something. I'll zip all those up into one file, put it over my Dropbox account. Once it's done syncing up with Dropbox, I right click that, file and say copy shared or copy public whatever it is Pu public, public link, link or something like that yeah so I just paste that into an email send it to them they click on it down or open it up download their photos and it's done it's really nice service I mean I, that's actually pretty cool I'm actually thinking of purchasing Dropbox so I can have a lot more storage yeah. and do that with the public links though that only works if you're telling it to create that public link mm -hmm. so all of your files are secure nobody can access them and unless you set those files as private or you share them so that's a you know that's a great feature of it too you can share stuff from it but nobody can just access it on the fly so just wanted to touch base on that real quick good point all right so we went over why we use Dropbox and you heard all of our examples, but we would love to hear from you guys, and you can tell us what you use Dropbox for. Um, you know, whether it's for your pictures and stuff too, or your files, or maybe it's something completely different. I want to hear about that too. Yeah, Definitely. if you use it for something different, let us know. Give us some ideas. Yeah. Maybe we're missing out on something, and we'd really love to hear about it. Heck yeah. But you know, just let us know. Tell us what you use it for. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and don't forget to please subscribe to both PC Simplest and PC Addicts, and we will uh, hit you up with some more videos later. All right. Thank you.